I thank the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, uh, I rise to urge a no vote on the previous question so that we may immediately consider H.R. 3370, the Homeowner Flood Insurance Affordability Act. Mr. Speaker, communities in my home state simply cannot wait for relief from steep rate, uh, flood insurance rate increases. Rhode Island families have told me that they are facing flood insurance rates upwards of $35,000 and they are scared of losing their homes. If these rates fully go into effect, in many cases, families are going to be paying more for flood insurance than they are for their mortgage. And unless we act, it potentially could see whole neighborhoods, middle class neighborhoods, wiped out because they drown not, uh, they, not because of a, uh, of a flood, but because they're drowning under the weight of the debt uh, of the cost of flood insurance. This is simply unconscionable. Implementing a delay in rate increases, Mr. Speaker, will give FEMA time to complete an affordability study and develop recommendations to help homeowners afford their premiums. Without it, thousands of middle class homeowners will continue to suffer from the uncertainty of not knowing whether the cost of flood insurance will make home ownership unaffordable. This legislation passed the Senate Thursday with a strong bipartisan vote. The House Companion has 182 bipartisan co-sponsors and I urge my colleagues to support consideration of the Homeowner Flood Insurance Affordability Act and provide immediate relief for our families and our communities. And I thank the uh, gentleman. I yield back the balance of my time.